How do you feel today, Father? I feel okay. The climate here, not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> And a good family. My father was uh, uh, specialized. And uh, my mother was very good at also. Nicholas and Marie Tritz were a religious couple who lived in the French village of Hackling Annex, close to the border with Germany. On September 19, 1914, the couple was blessed with their first child, a boy whom they named Pierre. In time, they would have six more children. As a young boy, Pierre never thought of becoming a priest. Little did he know that one day, while he was serving at a mass, he would have a total change of heart. At the age of 12, he realized his calling. When he turned 19, Pierre entered the French Jesuit novitiate in Florence, Belgium, on the condition that he would be sent to the China mission. His request was granted. He was sent to China and was ordained priest in Shanghai in 1947. When China fell to communist rule in 1949, Father Tritz was forced to return to France. After a year, he received an unexpected telegram asking him to go to the Philippines. China's loss was the Philippines' gain. Arriving in Manila in October 1950, Father Pierre Tritz was promptly assigned as a minister to assist the Jesuits who had been expelled from China and had sought refuge in the Philippines. In 1952, at the request of Araneta Institute of Agriculture President Dr. Salvador Araneta, the Jesuit provincial assigned Father Tritz as chaplain at the institution. A multitasking Jesuit, Father Tritz soon became not only the campus chaplain, but also an English teacher, a counselor, and a dorm prefect. Later on, Father Tritz took his master's in psychology at the Ateneo de Manila and started teaching there as well as in the University of the East and the Far Eastern University. Eventually, Father Tritz became the resident chaplain at the Hospital of the Infant Jesus. He had wanted to learn the Filipino language, but his provincial ordered him not to as he was to be staying in the Philippines only temporarily. In 1974, Father Tritz joined 11 foreign-born Jesuits in taking their oath of allegiance as Filipino citizens before President Marcos in Malacanang. He says the French government couldn't understand why he chose to become a Filipino citizen when thousands of Filipinos were renouncing their citizenship abroad. There was an article about the trouble and problem in public schools. And that article, I could never forget it gave me the idea to start something to help the dropouts to go back to school in Balik Aral. Nine years later, when I could not forget. So, so uh, a young lady, Captain Marino graduate, Betty Reyes, uh, volunteered to work with me. The, this idea to get the dropout back to school was very strong in my mind. When he met the children, he interviews them and asks them if they are studying or if they are in school. If not, he will call his social worker us to interview the children to facilitate the entry of the children in the school. We have to look for the school nearest the home of the children. to the poor children. Ganun palagi yung iniisip niya. Tsaka yung many. Uh, the greater good for the greater many. Gusto niya marami. Kanya, pagka nag-ano ka kay father, gusto niya maraming tutulungan. Well, the good challenge for me because of my work is to find the money. <laughs> uh, Napoleon said, money is the name of the war. My, my, my wife is not a, a killing people, my wife is a safe people. Nung nasa Europe yun, pagsasakay ng train yun, magre-raise ng funds yun sa mga katabi niya. Sabi niya, I'm, help, I'm Father Treats, I'm, I'm helping children to go to school. Sabi niya, would you like to help them? I met Mother Teresa in India. 
I, I met her, and uh, she's quite inspired me to work with the poor. That's why I started with this idea to get the poor chance to get educated. Once educated, find a job, get out of poverty. Giving money will not solve the problem. But educating them and preparing them for work, yes. Dito po Sir Dutek, na hahasa po yung kakayahan namin sa iba't ibang bagay. Patulad na lang po sa specialization ko, sa machining po, kahit sa, ma sa murang edad po, natututo po akong mag-welding, natututo po akong mag-grind, mag o yung iba't iba pang ginagawa ng mga mas, ma mas matatanda pa sa akin. So parang sa maagang edad, may kakayahan na akong makapagtrabaho pagkatapos ko ng high school na, na pwede na po akong makatulong sa pamilya ko. I remember Father Tritz saying that we should always uh, find a way to help the poor. Look at them, not as liabilities, no? but possibilities. I have no idea I'm at age. <laughs> I, I think we are made to work. Uh, if we like that, can be of help to some poor people. Why retire? So it doesn't make sense to me to retire. So I want to use my life as long as, as, long as possible. A million thanks to Father Treats for inspiring us with your compassionate works. For making this world a little better than you found it. Dahil may, may mas malaki na akong kapasidad upang makatulong sa mga dati-dating katulad ko ting nangangailangan. For reaching out to a million children and counting. Your life is a sterling example to us. God bless. I like the Philippines. Yeah, I can go back to France if I want to. I know they do it. <laughs> so I pray my work is